My name is Mark Jones. I'm director of the Victoria and Albert Museum, and I'm here in the Gilbert Galleries within the V&A, surrounded by examples of extraordinary craftsmanship. In particular, we have here some of the finest hand engraving that you'll see anywhere. In the case beside me are some extraordinary examples of craftsmanship, skills which go back a long way and which are needed for the future. I do think it's important that we recognize the need to train the hand and the eye as well as the mind. That we recognize that that process of training requires people to learn over a long period from skilled engravers. We always use the plasticine to start off with because everything you have to cut, you have to draw it on first. It's only a basic uh, course to give you an insight as to how the engraving is done. We run it from six till nine on a Wednesday evening, three hours, and in that time, uh, most of the engravers can get a, a good insight as to how uh, we do all things on maybe practicing on copper basically uh, from doing simple lettering to maybe a little animal or some sort of crest. We can only teach so much in six weeks but it's given insight even to basic beginners or people who had a little bit of interest or a little bit of experience with uh, silversmithing or jewellery and want to add a little bit more experience and to do some texturing or lettering uh, it's a general introduction to start people off uh, in the trade. There, it is. there isn't any, um, well not until now anyway, um, formal education um, for engraving, so it's, we're trying to get this um, in our own small way, get this thing off the ground. Uh, if um, we don't uh, encourage young people to start engraving in a small way as we've done, with the evening classes, we feel this trade will slowly die. It's important in thinking about art education in this country that we recognise the need for the skilled hand, the skilled engraver in the future.